If you want to conduct a market research, an academic research, or whatever research you are conducting, as long as it's done on TikTok, you are on the right video. I'm not a huge fan of TikTok, but one cannot deny its success. All we can do is to embrace it and to collect the data we need. We are going to scrape videos from TikTok for free. You will retrieve the background music, the author URL, his ID, his name, the number of views, comments and shares. The extraction is surprisingly easy for a social network. It may be not last long. What are we waiting for? All you need to do is to download Octopus, which is a freemium web scraping tool. The link is in the description. We will scrape the videos suggested to you. Please note that you can also scrape videos based on a public account or based on a particular keyword. It's a very similar process. The formulas will be different, however. So I hope this tutorial can inspire you if you encounter a slightly different scenario. I've got my URL. I copy it and I paste it on Octopus on the home page and I click on start. If by any chance you've got a kind of capture, you can resolve it manually. In that case, you turn on the browse mode and now you are able to solve it. The first thing we're going to do is to select all the videos at once. This is why I'm going to create a loop item. I click on my loop and as a loop mode, I select variable list and I will input a matching XPath here that will allow me to select all the videos. I come back to my browser and we will take a look at the HTML code and I've just noticed that all of the videos have got the similar elements. I'm going to write my XPath. I copy my attribute and my value and I use the XPath helper, which is a powerful Chrome extension allowing me to verify whether my XPath is correct. Slash slash div and I input my values and I've got nine elements which are unlighted in a kind of yellow and I've got my videos. That's great. I copy my XPath and I paste it just here. I click on apply. I've got eight videos. All of the XPath will be written in the description. So if you just want to copy and paste them, feel free to do it. However, the XPath may change over time. So if you take a look at this video six months after it has been published, it may not work anymore. So be careful about that. I'm going to extract all the data I need. I add a step within my loop item and I extract data. The first thing we're gonna add is the background music. I add custom field, capture data on the page and I will call it background music. Same thing as before, I'm going to write a relative XPath to the loop item. I take a look. In that case, the background music is this one. I'm going to select the name of the music and its URL, so two columns. I've got this kind of element. I copy it, so it's slash slash h4 and I've got nine elements as well. All of them show me the kind of music that have been used for their videos. I copy and I paste it. I click on confirm and I've got my background music. It will be the very same thing for all of the data you want to extract. But what about if I want to get the URL? As you can notice, the URL is just below my video music element. I add slash a slash plus the tag and I copy it. Add another colon. It will be, let's say music URL. I click on confirm, but I don't directly get the URL. In order to get it, I click on more, customize field and select URL href attribute. And I've got my URLs. All you need to do is to take a look at the list of XPath I've just written in the description and to paste it on Octopus. I see you back in a minute.
Same thing about the URL of the author. As you can see, the URL of the author is just above its name and its ID. So I take the XPath of the name and I write slash dot dot. And then I will get the URL. I copy it. I add another column. Let's say order URL. Confirm. And same thing as we have done for the music URL. More. Customize field. Select URL. We've got the URL of the profile. All that remains to do is to extract the number of likes, comments and shares. got all the data I need. In order to keep our scraper safe, I will add some waiting times. I click on extract data, options, wait before action, and let's keep it to one second. I click on apply, and same thing for the loop item part. There is something remaining because our loop item includes eight videos and it's not enough, right? If we want to collect more videos, if we want to load new data, we first need to scroll down to the bottom of the page. In other words, we will add another loop, but this time it will be a different kind of loop. I will call it scroll and as a loop mode, I select scroll page. I've got a lot of options to choose. I keep the scroll area to default. I will scroll to the bottom of the page each time and let's say only 20 times. If you want to do more, feel free to do so. And I will wait, let's say four or five seconds each time. Let's say five seconds. I click on apply and what remains to do is to drag my loop item inside my scroll page element. We can run our task. I click on run and I click on standard mode. I see you back for the result. We've got 300 lines so far. If you want to get more, you wait until the task is completed. But as an example, I think it's enough. I click on stop confirm and then I can export my data. I click on OK and here is what the result should look like. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you need any kind of web swapping services, you can ask me for a quote by sending me an email. You can also subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you want to. See you soon.